Hi, my name's Jennifer Tucker and I'm with Adams County Extension Office. I'm also a small acreage landowner. Today we're going to talk about how grass grows and the concept of growing points on a grass plant. We have to recognize that the nutrient value of grasses change as the entire plant grows. Young grass is rich, palatable, higher in protein and nutrients. The animals just prefer it. And if left alone, that's all they would eat. Once a grass has gone to seed, it's much more mature. The stems are more difficult for the animals to chew. And they, they just don't enjoy it. It's not as palatable. So given the opportunity, they'll leave this mature grass and overgraze the young and tender grasses. The growing point is the place on a grass plant where cells divide and produce new growth. If I were to overgraze this grass around me, down to this level or even lower, below the growing point, this grass would have to start all over. Instead of growing from a leaf that already exists, it would have to start from a dormant bud and develop an entire new plant, which would require a lot more energy, nutrients, and effort on that grass plant. Let's review our theory of take half and leave half. Meaning if our grass has grown to six inches, about like this grass around me, we're gonna allow our animals to graze it down to three inches. So effectively, half the height of the plant. Even more ideal is to start grazing at eight inches and stop grazing at four inches. Because when there is more leaf area, there is quicker leaf regrowth. If we take half and leave half, our grass will continue to regrow and produce healthy pastures for us for years to come. To learn more about this, contact your local CSU Extension Office or the Natural Resources Conservation Service. 